Inspirational Mufti Ismail Menk quotes on God's success. If people display bad character towards us, it shouldn't make us bring down our good character as a result. It is better to lose something to the Almighty than to lose the Almighty to something. Every test in life makes us sad or better. Every problem comes to make us or break us. The choice is ours to be a victim or a victor. If you are doing a good job, don't quit. Just keep working and keep working, no matter what other people say or how much they break your spirit. Life is a continuous struggle. Always strive to be better. When others make mistakes, don't underestimate them. Help them with your skills. Don't let your pain get you down. No one knows what anyone else is going through. There is already too much suffering in this world. The brain and heart are the two most powerful organs in your body. Don't give control over them to anyone. If you want respect, learn to respect others. Always leave loved ones with loving words. Because this may be the last time you will see them. When you learn to discipline your tongue, you will stop scrutinizing, judging, and condemning others. You will then focus on your own weaknesses. Dressing yourself with the best character is more attractive than dressing yourself with expensive labels. As long as you are alive, you will have problems. Face them head-on and try your best to solve them. Running away from problems is never an option. Don't let past mistakes make you lose hope of achieving good. Some of those with the worst pasts have made great futures for themselves. If your heart is always satisfied, then you are the same or even better than he who has everything in this world. When you keep looking for other people's flaws, that's all you'll see. You won't see their beauty. Start focusing on what's good in people. Peace with oneself brings positivity, calm, focus, contentment, and kindness to our thoughts, actions, character, and being. Don't be a busy person, meddling in other people's business. Avoid prying into things that don't concern you. Focus on your own life. Less hate and more love. If you want peace, win your heart, get rid of anger, resentment, guilt and worry. We love ourselves after so many mistakes, so why do we hate others for one or two mistakes they made? When you control your anger, you get his pleasure. This is a test of your strength of character. That's it so you won't regret it. Don't be jealous of other people's lives. Often you only see the surface. If you dig deeper everyone faces challenges everyone, no exceptions. Pain is there for a reason. It will soften the heart. It will bring you closer to the Almighty. It will make you see his divine wisdom. Embrace it. 
It's important to choose your friends wisely, because consciously or unconsciously, they can make a big difference in your life. It's never about material things, wealth or complexity. It's always about the heart. What I'm good at is not looking at how you look, but what's inside your heart. Do not attach your heart to those who live a life full of sin, because one day you may find yourself in deep regret. When a problem has been solved we can't keep bringing up the past. Being so kind, polite and cheerful to the women of the world, has no value when it cannot be that way to our own wives, sisters, and mothers. Marry someone who is very interested in God's way because that is what your children will follow. When people walk out of your life, maybe the Almighty knows what's best for you and chooses to protect you from unforeseen dangers. The moment you start comparing your life to others is the beginning of your downfall. You will lose your peace and gratitude. Never say harsh words out of anger. Your anger will pass. But your harsh words can scar someone for life. So use kind words or keep quiet. Humility is everything. It doesn't matter how successful, how handsome, how rich or how smart you are. Remember no one likes arrogance. Stay connected with people. Stay real. That is the mark of true success. I really appreciate those who deleted me, because without them, I might repeat my mistake for a long time. When someone fails at what they set out to do, don't pressure them any harder. Give words of encouragement. Insulting others is not the way to believe them. On the contrary, it causes more damage and proves that we ourselves need help. Saying a kind word to someone after failure, is more valuable than all the compliments you give after success. Whatever you want to do, do it now. Don't use the excuse of waiting for the right time to procrastinate. Perfection is not for this world. So before you end up miserable because you're stuck waiting, act and start today. Do good solely because of the Almighty. Don't expect recognition, congratulations, or thanks from anyone. Seek your reward only from Him. Haters are simply people with low self-esteem. They don't believe in themselves, so they try to limit others in painful ways to elevate themselves. Don't let their criticism and negativity distract you from your purpose in life. When you feel heartbroken and disappointed because of things that don't seem to make sense, put your hands up and talk to the Almighty. You don't need to say anything if the wound is too much. Speak calmly from your heart. He will surely mend. If you live your life worrying about who is hurting you and who is destroying you, you will end up miserable. Learn to see the positive side, it is always there and helps you get back on your feet and makes you smile once again. Whatever you do, be gentle. People may have forgiven your harsh words, but they may never forget how those words pierced their hearts back then. 
Obstacles in our path are some of life's tests. They make us stronger, become better people and open doors we never imagined. Check yourself often and correct your mistakes. Stop turning on others. Take responsibility for your own life, that's the only way you can grow. Wake up to pray in the dark when everyone else is asleep, and see how your path is illuminated and your life begins to shine.